Hello and welcome to Count the Mac Kids Yoga. My name's Kate and today's mini yoga episode is all about dogs. Now, one of my yogis, Hattie, has a very special dog called Dougie. This is Dougie as a puppy. And this is Dougie not so long ago on a beach in Devon. Now, Dougie is a black Labrador and he is nearly two years old and he loves chasing balls eating sausages and he adores his humans. Now have a look what Dougie's doing here. Can you see he has his bottom in the air, he's stretching down through his back legs, down through his spine, into his shoulders and down into his paws. He is having a really good stretch. Now if we have a look at this here, this is downward dog in cat. Cat on the mat doing downward dog or downward dog, whichever you prefer. Look, it is a yoga pose as well as a dog stretch. So today we're going to be having a look at downward dog. But before we do, a, a few facts about dogs. Dogs are not only wonderful pets and love their humans. They like to go for walks and chase balls. Um, they're really wonderful creatures to have around, but they're also very helpful creatures to humans. Dogs can be trained to help the police. They help search and rescue. They can be very good guard dogs, let you know if someone's coming. Um, some dogs pull sleds or sleighs to help people in snowy countries that can't get provisions for the winter. And some dogs are called assistant dogs. Now they are very, very specially trained and they help people with disabilities. Now, these dogs are quite incredible creatures and they can be trained to do all sorts and they're very happy to help. Assistance dogs, can help blind people walk down the street without bumping into anything and also help them cross the road. These dogs also help many people with many different disabilities. These dogs can be trained to help dress and undress people, answer a telephone, go shopping, get things off the shelves for people. They can help them with getting money from the bank, opening and shutting doors and so much more. These dogs are real lifesavers. So today, we are going to look at how we can be kind, how we can be kind to our mind, because we need to look after our mind and our body. So first of all, we're gonna warm up. Let's go. Follow me. Find your space. Make sure you have plenty of room and you are not going to knock anybody over. So stick your arms to the side and have a little promenade and make sure you're not gonna knock anything or anybody over. Very good. Now we're gonna warm our bodies up because when a dog has been in the sea and it is covered in water, it has a shake. So we're gonna do a shake down. Are you ready? Knees soft. Here we go, we're gonna start from, let's see, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 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 Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. One, one. One, one. One, one. One, one. Ah, shake it all about. And breathe. Breathing in, stretching up and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Very good. Now I don't know about you, but I'm really warm now. And when you're warm, you sweat. Humans sweat, we get hot, and we get little beads of sweat over our body. Now dogs don't sweat like we do. Dogs pant. <laughs> this keeps them cool. So sitting down on your mat for me, in a nice cross-legged easy pose, hands on your knees, sitting tall. 
we are going to practice some breathing. Now this is doggy breathing. Breathing in through your nose. <sighs> Big pant out. Breathing in through your nose. <sighs> and out. And again, breathing in. <sighs> now we're going to pant quickly. If you notice when a dog pants, they <sighs> okay? You know, practice being a doggy. Breathing in. And again, breathing in. How far can you stretch your tongue out? Breathing in. Really good panting. One big breath in. Well done, yogis. That's fantastic. So we're going to be having a look at downward dog and some other poses that are doggy poses today. And while you're doing your poses today, um, I want you to think about what sort of dog you would like to be and what sort of bark your dog might have. What voice would your dog have? And also while we're stretching, I want you to think about what parts of your body you are stretching while you're doing the poses. Okay, let's start. Follow me. So I'd like you to face your screen um, but I'm going to go sideways so you can see just what's going on with my body. So we're going to start in a mountain pose. This is mountain pose, okay? We're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, you're going to tip your head down to your chest and we're going to roll all the way down. Knees soft. Rolling down. Beautiful. Now let your head just hang. Your head is the heaviest part of your body. And we are just going to let it hang and you're going to move from one side to the other, swaying from one side to the other. Really good. Okay, and then we're going to walk the hands down into a lovely table back. So pulling up in your tummy. Think about what parts of the body we're using here. We're stretching the arms, the tops of the feet, your back, your tummy's pulled up. And you're going to pull back onto your knees, arms stretching forward, forehead on the mat. This is called puppy pose. You will see puppies do this when they're about to pounce or if they're just having a little stretch. Puppy pose. Stretch your fingers. My arms are stretching. My back, my tummy is stretching. Just breathing in and out. Breathing in. And out. Now coming back up. Onto all fours for me. Beautiful. And to curl the toes under. So you're stretching your toes here. Curling the toes under. And you're going to push your bottom up into the air. As if you're reaching to the sky with it. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Push your bottom into the air. Beautiful. Now do not worry if you are here and you cannot straighten your legs. The more you practice downward dog, the better it gets, the easier it gets. Take it everything easy. Breathing in, breathing out. Lower the head and the heart centre down. So I'm stretching my fingers on the mat. They're pressing into the mat. My arms, my shoulders, my back, my tummy's pulling up. The sides of my tummy are tight, they're stretching the backs of my legs down into my calves and my ankles. Downward dog. Now all dogs need to go for a walk, so we're going to walk our dog. Give your doggy a little walk. Very good, really stretch. Now you're stretching your toes. Think about what sort of dog you're walking. Who are you? <laughs> I think I might be a Labrador like Dougie or maybe a sheep dog. There we go. And now I'm going to stick my left leg in the air, pointing the toe. You're a happy dog. This is called happy dog. Shake your leg. Stretch it. Circle the ankle one way and circle it the other way. Well done. Beautiful. Lowering the leg down and we take the other one into the air. <whistles> Up it goes. Give it a shake. Happy dog. Pointing the toes. Circle the ankles for me. There we go. Straight leg. Lowering it down. Beautiful. Breathe in. 
Breathe out, lower the head and the heart down again. This time, bend the knees. Cracking knees I have. Into a table back again. And you're going to lower down onto the mat. Stretching, stretching, puppy pose. Breathing in and out. Taking your time. Playful puppy pose. And then we're going to come back up into a table back. Onto your toes, into a crouch position, hands by the side of your feet, head down. And we are going to slowly roll back up to the top. Heels down as soon as you can. Head down. Knees do not knock, lock, knock, <laughs> lock. They don't lock, they're very soft. Pull up in your tummy, rolling up slowly through the spine. There we go, until we reach the top of the mountain. Wow, we are at the top of the mountain. Beautiful. Now you're at the top of the mountain. We're going to rise. Mountain pose, rise on the toes. Excellent. Take your arms up. Once your hands are at the top, stretch down with your heels. <gasps> Pull your arms up and stretch your heels down, shoulders down. And slowly let the arms fall down. Down by your side. Well done, yogis. That's beautiful work. Okay, come and join me on the mat now. You can either make yourself comfortable and lie down, or you can cross your legs just like me. So we're going to be kind to your mind. Hands on your knees, or if you're lying on the floor, let everything just fall out sideways. Relax everything. Let your knees flop out, let your arms flop out, just completely relax. And I'm going to take you on a little doggy journey and you are going to find the most favourite place and relax. Sitting tall or lying flat and just letting everything fall out. Close your eyes, breathing in and out. Big breath in and out. Now I'd like you to imagine in your head, in your mind's eye, the most beautiful place, calm and beautiful place. It can either be a place that you know, it can be a place that you have completely imagined up in your head. Complete imagination. It can be wherever you like, but in your head I want you to imagine this place. Breathing in and out. And as you go to this place, I would like you to look around in your mind's eye and look at the textures. Are you near water? Are you in the forest looking at trees and grass and flowers? Are you in a bedroom on a soft, cosy carpet? Think to yourself, where are you? What feels good? This place is so safe. And you are so calm and it is so beautiful. Breathing in and out. And on your next breath in, I want you to imagine that you're breathing in the smells that surround you in your wonderful place. Breathing in and breathing out. What does it smell of? Does it smell of cookie dough? Does it smell of a fresh meadow? it smell of clean sheets? What does it smell of? Breathing in and out. Now I want you to imagine the sounds that are in your special place. What sounds can you hear? Breathing in and breathing out. So in your special place, in your mind's eye, you can invite somebody to be with you, somebody special. It can be a teddy bear, it can be a pet, a dog, a cat, a hamster. It can be somebody imaginary, it can be somebody in your family, it can be anybody. And they can just sit or lie with you in your imaginary place. Or you can just be there all by yourself, breathing in. And breathing out. 
And you need to know that whenever you need to go to your special place in your mind, you can always visit it. It's always there. You can smell it. You can see it. You can hear it. You can see the textures. You can go there in your mind whenever you need to. Breathing in and out. And when you're ready, flutter your eyelids open. Back into the room. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care. Goodbye.